हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रोफेसर राजेंद्र कोरान्ने फ्रॉम माय यूट्यूब चैनल टीच इजी इन दिस वीडियो आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग सम मोर क्वेश्चंस एमसीक्यूज ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ सिंपल लिफ्टिंग मशीन सो दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ सिंपल लिफ्टिंग मशीन्स एंड लेट अस स्टार्ट विदाउट वेस्टिंग द टाइम क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन फॉर अ मशीन द लॉ इज पी इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर डब्ल्यू प्लस टेन एक्सप्रेस इन न्यूटन द मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल एम ए ऑफ द मशीन विल बी ए फोर्टी बी ट्वेंटी फाइव सी टेन एंड डी नन ऑफ द अब नाउ वी नो दैट मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल एम ए इज वन अपॉन स्मॉल एम वेयर स्मॉल एम इज द कोफिशेंट ऑफ डब्ल्यू इन लॉ ऑफ मशीन एंड इट इज पॉइंट जीरो फोर सो मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल एम ए विल बी वन अपॉन पॉइंट जीरो फोर विच विल बी ट्वेंटी फाइव हेन्स द करेक्ट आंसर इज बी ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू फॉर अ मशीन द लॉ इज पी इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर डब्ल्यू प्लस टेन एक्सप्रेस इन न्यूटन इफ द वी आर इज फोर्टी द मैक्सिमम एफिशियंसी ऑफ द मशीन विल बी ए सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट फाइव none of the above and c 60% okay now here maximum efficiency is maximum ma upon vr multiplied by 100 maximum ma we have calculated in the previous question which was 25 and into 100 upon 40 vr is given 40 which will come out to be 62.5% hence the correct answer is a 62.5% Question number twenty-three: A machine whose efficiency is less than fifty percent is said to be a ideal B on the point of reversing, C reversible, and D non-reversible or self-locking. When the efficiency is less than fifty percent, it is non-reversible or self-locking. Hence, the correct answer is D, non-reversible or self-locking. Question number twenty-four. The simple machine is said to be reversible if its efficiency is a less than fifty percent, b greater than fifty percent, c equal to fifty percent, d none of the above. We know that if the efficiency is greater than fifty percent, it will reverse. Hence, the correct answer is b greater than fifty percent. Question number twenty-five. At the efficiency of fifty percent, the simple lifting machine is said to be a. non reversible b reversible c on the point of reversing and d none of the above okay now if the machine is non reversible at lower loads it may be possible that as the load will go on increasing efficiency increases so at a particular load it is observed that the efficiency is 50% what does it mean that means it is on the point of reversing hence the correct answer is c on the point of reversing question number 26 which of the following machine is reversible a simple axle and wheel b simple screw jack c worm and worm wheel and d geared pulley block simple screw jack worm and worm wheel and geared pulley block are non reversible machine hence reversible machine is simple axle and wheel hence the correct answer is a simple axle and wheel question number 27 which of the following machine is non reversible a simple pulley b simple screw jack c two shoe pulley block d differential axle and wheel simple pulley two shoe pulley block and differential axle and wheel are reversible machine so only non reversible machine is simple screw jack hence the correct answer is b simple screw jack question number 28 the diameters of wheel and axle of a simple axle and wheel are 180 mm and 30 mm respectively The VR of the machine will be a zero point one six six, b six, c twelve, and d none of the above. Now the formula for VR for wheel and axle is capital D upon small d, where capital D is diameter of wheel, and small d is diameter of axle. So one eighty upon thirty will be six. Hence the correct answer is B 
six. Question number twenty nine. For a differential axle and wheel, the diameters of wheel and axles are one eighty mm, sixty mm, thirty mm, respectively. The VR of the machine will be a zero point one six six, b six, c twelve, d none of the above. For a differential axle and wheel, formula for VR is equal to two times capital D upon d one minus d two. Here capital D is one eighty, d one is sixty, d two is thirty. So if you put into far formula, it will be two into one eighty divided by sixty minus thirty, which will come out to be twelve. Hence the correct answer is C twelve. Question number thirty: Number of cogs on bigger and smaller pulley of Weston's purchase crab are fourteen and thirteen respectively. The velocity ratio of the machine will be a twenty eight, b twenty six, c fourteen, and d thirteen. Now, for Weston's differential pulley block or Weston's purchase crab, the formula for V R is V R is equal to two times n one upon n one minus n two. Here n one is fourteen, n two is thirteen. If you put the values of n one and n two, you will get the V R as twenty eight. Hence, the correct answer is a. E. Twenty-eight. Question number thirty-one. The number of teeth on pinion and spur of a single purchase crab are twenty and one twenty respectively. The effort handle is thirty centimeter long and the load drum has a diameter of fifteen centimeter. The VR of the machine is A twelve, B twenty four, C forty eight, and D none of the above. Now the VR formula for VR is in the numerator it is n2 into 2l and in the denominator it will be n1 into small d. Okay, n2 is 20, so in the numerator it will be 120 into 2 into 30 and in the denominator it will be 20 into 15 hence the correct answer will be 24 b 24 you have to just put in the formula 32 the number of teeth on pinions and spurs of a double purchase crab are 25 each and 125 each respectively the effort handle is 30 cm long and the load drum has a diameter of 15 the vr of the machine is a 20 b 50 c 100 and d none of the above now the formula for vr is n2 n4 into 2l divided by in the denominator n1 n3 into small d now here In the numerator, it will be 125 into 125 into 2 into 30. In the denominator, it will be 25 into 25 into 50. Okay, so you will get the answer as 100. The correct answer is C 100. Question number 33. A simple screw jack has a double threaded screw with a pitch of 12 mm. The effort handle is 15 cm long. The VR of the machine is A 39.27, B 78.54, C 19.63, D none of the above. Now the formula for VR is 2 pi L upon small n into small p. Where L is given as 15 cm, which will be 150 mm. Small n is given as 2, and pitch is given as 12. So if you put these values, you will get the answer as 39.27. Hence, the correct answer is E 39.27. Question number 34. The screw of worm and worm wheel is triple threaded. The worm wheel is has one twenty teeth, and the diameters of effort wheel and load drum are fifteen centimeter and twenty centimeter respectively. 
the VR of the machine is A90, B160, C30 and D none of the above. Now what is the formula for VR? See whatever higher teeth they are in numerator. So 120 okay, into diameter of effort wheel that is 15 and in the denominator double th uh, triple threaded so 3 and 20. So if you put it VR will be I will repeat once again VR is equal to 120 multiplied by 15 in the numerator it will be 3 into 20. So the answer will be C30. Question number 35. The effort wheel and load wheel of a geared pulley block has 110 cogs respectively. The pinion and spur wheels have 20 and 120 teeth respectively. The VR of the machine is A30, B120, C60 and D none of the above. Now for geared pulley block there are two cog wheels. One is effort cog wheel and second is low co load cog wheel. Okay, which are given as 110. 100 will be in numerator, 10 will be in denominator. Then number of teeth on pinion and spur wheel are 20 and 120. 120 will be in numerator, 20 will be in denominator. So 100 upon 10 will be 10, 120 upon 20 will be 6. So 10 into 60, hence the answer is C60. Do not get confused in N1, N2 and N3, N4 like that. So please remember the formula, you will get the answer correctly. 36. The VR of two shoe pulley block is A2, B4, C8 and D10. Two shoe pulley block is actually second system of pulley. In second system of pulley, one block is fixed pulley block and second block is movable pulley block. In two shoe pulley block, there are two pulleys in fixed pulley block and two pulleys in movable pulley block. So total number of pulleys are 2 plus 2 that is 4 and VR of second system is equal to number of pulleys. Hence the VR is 4, hence the correct answer is B4. Question number 37. The VR of a 2 and 3 shoe pulley block is a6, B4, C5 and D10. Now this is again a second system of pulley in which the fixed pulley block has two pulleys and movable pulley block has three shoe pulleys, three pulleys. Has the total number of pulleys are 2 plus 3 that is 5 and as this is second system of pulley, VR is equal to total number of pulleys. Hence the VR is 5, hence the correct answer is C5. Question number 38. The VR of a three shoe pulley block is A3, B9, C1 and D6. Now in three shoe pulley block there are three pulleys in fixed pulley block and three pulleys in movable pulley block. Total number of pulleys are 3 plus 3, 6 as this is second system of pulley. The VR is 6, hence the correct answer is D6. Question number 39. Three pulleys are arranged in the first system. The VR of the arrangement is A3, B6, C7 and D8. For the first system of pulleys, VR is equal to 2 raised to N, where N is number of pulleys. Now in this question, number of pulleys arranged in first system are 3. So 2 raised to 3 is 8. Hence correct answer is D8. Question number 40. 4 pulleys are arranged in the third system. The VR of the arrangement is A4, B16, C15 and D8. For the third system of pulleys, VR is equal to 2 raised to n minus 1, where n is the number of pulleys arranged in third system. Here 4 pulleys are arranged in third system, so 2 raised to 4 is 60, minus 1 is 15, hence the correct answer is C15. 
with this we finish all the questions of simple lifting machine in two parts so i again appeal you to please give likes share it to your friends and sus subscribe for my channel by pressing the bell icon for all thank you